is always challenging to try to balance the demands of the public who are unfamiliar with the specifics of how an organization works, who frequently ask me why Carlos Alvarez isn't doing a better job at the school district, and who otherwise drop into affairs as and when it affects their own children and their own school and their neighborhood, but rarely keep tabs on what's going on generally in public education and in government except when it touches them. That, of course, puts elected officials in a tenuous position when it comes to advising people that they cannot have, will not have, and are unable to have the services that they adamantly refuse to pay for. We're in challenging times. I know the school system is going to continue to have severe budget cuts, layoffs, and downsizing, and that's the nature of the public education system that people in this state have demanded and are going to get. Personally, it's been very rewarding for me to try to work for my district and for all the children in the system, regardless of the programs that will come and go, regardless of the employees who will be hired and then fired. We have accomplished some tremendous things over the last four years, including the relief of overcrowding, certainly in my district and in many other areas of the county, buildings and facilities that no one ever dreamed would be built or would be possible, and those, fortunately, will endure as everything else gets eliminated. I wish my colleagues on the board the best of luck. I wish the staff and our employees the very best of luck. I look forward to being active in the community, but mostly I look forward to returning to my wonderful husband of 35 years, my three children, my friends, and my private business life, and to have a less stressful and more enjoyable day-to-day. Thank you very much.